did you feel when you were given out at that point of time and had you done it differently if you were there at the other end? Yeah, because I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, I have two minutes to get to the crease and get myself ready, which I did. And then it was an equipment malfunction. And I don't know where the common sense went uh, because obviously it's obviously disgraceful from uh, Shakib and Bangladesh if they want to play cricket like that obviously stooped down to that level, I think there's something wrong um, drastically. Because, um, you know, if I got late, if I got past my two minutes to get to the crease, and in the law says you have to be ready within the two minutes, and I was there two minutes, 45 or 50 seconds, I still had, after my um, helmet broke off, I still had five more seconds to go. And the umpires also have uh, um, said to our coaches that they didn't see my helmet breaking. I mean, I was just asking for my helmet uh, there. So it was just pure common sense. I'm not talking about um, uh, mancading or obstructing the field here. This is just pure common sense and bringing the game into you know, disrepute. It's absolutely um, disgraceful. Angelo, you spoke about uh, the Bangladesh players' uh, behavior being uh, absolutely not on. What about uh, the behavior of your own players, not, uh, I mean, refusing to shake hands with the opposition? Yeah, you need to respect people who respect us. Uh, it doesn't mean that, um, you know, they have to respect the game itself. I mean, we all are ambassadors of this beautiful game, including the umpires. So then, uh, if you don't respect and if you don't use your common sense, what more can you ask for? Um, Matthews, uh, so earlier in the press conference, uh, Shakib said that uh, both of you guys have a long history. You've been playing from a 19 age and uh, both, of, uh, both of you know each other and uh, he was talking and uh, he didn't have any regrets. Uh, any thoughts of that? Yeah, so I mean, see up to today I had utmost respect to him and, uh, and Bangladesh team. Obviously, you know, you all play to win. And if it's within the rule, it's fine. But the rule clearly says uh, in, my, in my incident today, within two minutes I was there. We have video evidence. We will put out a statement later on. We have video evidence, footage, everything was looked. I'm not just, just coming and saying things here. I'm talking with proof. So uh, we have the video evidence where from the, the time was the, uh, the catch was taken, and then from the time um, I walked into the crease, I still had five seconds after breaking my helmet, right? So we talk about safety of the players, right? And you, you guys tell me if it's right for me to take my guard um, without my helmet on. It's just pure common sense. And, and, and that's why I think the umpires also had a bigger job at the time because they could have at least gone back and checked. Um, so we, th we talk about player safety and a wicket keeper for the spinner is not, uh, you know, they don't let him keep without his helmet. So how can I take my guard without my helmet? It's complete equipment malfunction. Angelo, uh Obey the Viama Gana Obey Matemuka, then rule like a headed about killer umpires rule out Kara, Namut A Avasta with you, Monagi, the other Unge Katagari, a Sidi and Avatar Puda with the Katagur. Bomat no Kanaga to the Aika Avasta, the Bangladesh Kandama, Kridakar, Bula Segan, Mankading, Hari, obstructing the field, Harinang, Prasna, Namama Vinadi Deka, Atulata, Chris Sagatagila. Crease seke di tamai mage helmet te galone. Ek hondar ma ampas dinhe suruval mud dekka. Mada tava tapar tava pahak tibba helmet te kadu nam passet. Iting mama helmet te ka penu ampasse. Iti kabe lauga te gila ampas te gina ekula nga pil karagi la. Iti mangha huwa meke common sense ekuhe se mukode me mada me mage vinadi te ka panelat ne. Mukode outtela villa me ukkama video evidence ekka mati yena. It was umpires let them coaches let a killer, you know, Egulanta, I check current, Tibuna killing Emo Unambasi, the Munambasi, but then never check current, the Mayuan, technology, you know, umpires at a Balanda Buluang, a Velava, Magave, out of the Pahalu, Mitra, my then a 
මරේ කියන්න වචනයක් නැහැ අවුරුදු 15 මන් දැකලා නැහැ මෙච්චර පහත් තත්වයකට වැටෙනවා කණ්ඩායම අක්ෂා ප්ලේ කෙනෙක් Angelo you talked about umpire's role here do you think these dismissals of obstructing the field and the one that you had today are too ambiguous and they need to have more clear uh, clear uh, object uh, criteria there to be defined as a dismissal here yeah, because they can argue that you were not ready to face the ball because you had a malfunction so that's technicality comes here so do you think uh, uh, these are very ambiguous rules uh, rules and they need to be uh, revisited no i think in terms of mancading and and say obstructing the field the rules are quite clear uh, i mean uh, because uh, the rule clearly says that if if you're out of your crease uh, the bowler can um, uh, you know break the stumps and and so is if you're um, in line at the stumps and if you're obstructing uh, the ball being hit uh, to the stumps then it clearly says you're out by here where is the common sense here i think in my in my 15 years of career i have never seen i've never seen a team going down to that level because obviously the umpire has also admitted that it's you know equipment malfunction and they could have gone upstairs and checked again yeah i, I mean what's the point you know not checking at that time and then 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 saying it afterwards because i'm not saying if i was you know there we could have won the match it's it's a different story okay but still you need to have your common sense in terms of um using technology and also it was clearly a malfunction i mean it just came off you know i i didn't mean to you know pull it and break it you know i still had my time as well and i was complete you know i was in complete shock uh, and the law ultimately uh, the decision was given by the umpire so do you think it was the wrong decision by them actually and uh, first question second question is uh, do you think the momentum is changed after that incident yeah in my opinion yes because i if i haven't done anything wrong uh, whose fault is it um uh, well as i said it's a technicality you know which which needs to be discussed because it's a world cup game and what happens if, if this happens in the last over when you uh, when you have three or four runs to get in the last wicket i mean it's, it's just pure common sense and you just have to i mean it's it was not uh i wasn't trying to waste time i wasn't trying to uh get advantage of anything it was just pure equipment malfunction and it just happened uh for the very first time in my career and i'm absolutely shocked i don't know i'm not going to say that you know if i had batted today we could, we would have won the match i'm not saying that i mean i'm just talking about that you know incident where obviously it was a crucial uh, time of the uh, match and we could have gone either way i mean we could have got you know 54 you know 60 runs more as well you never know but uh, it was just pure um, uh, disgraceful and <clears throat> angelo uh, we have seen uh, in this press conference that you are talking about uh, that in your career in 15 years you haven't seen this kind of attitude by a team that happened today so uh, do you think that in your career in last 15 years you haven't seen it doesn't mean that uh, no team can complain or appeal like this kind of out cause you know that final decision given by the umpire and in icc media also the fourth umpire clear about this out that you are out so you are saying that sakib and bangladesh team were disrespectful towards you do you think that umpires also disrespectful towards you because they up their finger and that's why you got out this is riyasat so it's not about uh, umpires being disrespect you know uh, disrespectful uh they could have checked um yes i think unfortunately it happened against bangladesh i i don't think you know any other team would do that because it was a it was black and white it was equipment you know the helmet coming off and uh, it was a safety issue as well um because we know that you know without a helmet i cannot face a bowler and it was just there to be seen 
it was not about anyone being respectful. Yes, Shakib had the option of, you know, he knew that it, you know, this was um, not time wasting, or I was there within my time, and uh, he ha he had the choice of, but he 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 decided to go the other way, and I my personal opinion is if it was any other team, they they wouldn't have done it. Uh, Angela, the fourth umpire, said that uh, you know the equipment that uh, batters or suggested that the equipment that batters use is kind of their own responsibility. Um, what's what's your response to that? Sorry, um, I mean, could you say that again for for everyone to um, hear it? <laughs> yeah. So the fourth, fourth umpire said during the innings break that the equipment that batters use or suggested that the equipment that batters use is their own responsibility. So what would your kind of your response to that be? All of you guys heard, yeah? Uh, it's, it's quite um, laughable, I think. Uh, it's our responsibility, yes. If I went without a helmet to bat to a fast bowler, then it's my responsibility, obviously. But uh, something coming off, some equipment coming off, do you really think, you know, I would know it's gonna come off? It's quite, I don't understand, uh, the logic behind what he has said. Uh, Angelou, um, the uh, follow-up to the same question, uh, the uh, fourth umpire actually during the innings break said that the batter wasn't re ready to receive the ball uh, within those two minutes, even before the strap became an issue for him. The mm -hmm. two minutes had already elapsed. Um, do you think you came late, slightly late to the crease, or yeah, your thoughts on that? Uh, if you ask the question from now, he would have a different answer. Because uh, we have evidence, video evidence. I'm not, you know, as I said, I'm not just, just saying what I'm just saying. I have the video evidence. And if a, anybody wants to contest it, I urge them to.